So I still remember the days when the battery of my fully charged Nokia phone would last for a week. These days, I'm running out of battery in my iPhone by lunchtime. So even though we all love the new features of our phones, this has come as a surprise. Uh, getting to high-speed data is very inefficient. Most of us think it's the display, but it's actually the communication standards that consume a lot of data. So as the demand for data is exploding when we share photos and videos, we have invented new standards such as LTE that will really give us high-speed data. The problem is that using the spectrum more efficiently really turns the power amplifier into very inefficient. And we will recognize the picture of sort of the wool huggers, people sitting around airports chasing for a place to charge their phone. It's happening here in Davos. So this was the problem we set out to solve five years ago, uh, really determined not to accept the sort of status quo. So, but as it turns out, there is a far more serious problem than people in rich countries running out of battery in their smartphones. So the dirty little secret about mobile networks is that actually 1% of the global electricity consumption is used to power up them. Uh, in addition, carriers are spending $35 billion uh, uh, in utility costs. Uh, and even though a lot of things has changed in the world of technology, the actual power amplifier technology used in these phones was invented in the Bell Labs in the 1930s. Uh, they're extremely inefficient because there is a trade-off between linearity that is necessary for the new communication standards and efficiency. So looking at the modern base station, actually shocking truth is that 70% of the energy is being wasted as heat. In addition, Operators may be required to install air conditioning to cool the base stations. You have fans. All of this is making the system sort of less reliable. Uh, so surely we must be able to do better than this. So back in 2009, two MIT professors, Dave Perot and Joel Dawson, combined their research in radio communication and power converters to see if they can create a new architecture for radio communication. We added a few people from the mobile industry, and that was the foundation for ADA devices. So what we have done is develop a technique called ET Advanced that will actually track the radio signal perfectly uh, it, and only provide the right amount of energy necessary for, for, for transmitting data bits. And the result of this is sort of really spectacular and we can remove 80% of the wasted heat and extend the battery. So to, to, to put this in, in perspective, it's the, uh, if you have an incandescent light bulb, it will give you a little bit of light, but you'll burn your fingers if you touch it. But with a new LED light bulb, uh, it will stay cool while giving you the same amount of light. We're actually providing the same benefits to mobile communication. Deploy ET Advanced on a global scale. That will be the same sort of equivalent carbon savings uh, to removing 7 million cars uh, uh, from the Earth. That's sort of twice as number of cars as we have in Switzerland. Uh, uh, in addition to that, mobile carriers will save billions of dollars uh, deploying this. Another way of looking at it, uh, the carbon savings are equivalent of removing all the coal-fired power plants in the UK. All of this while giving the users a better experience and saving costs for the mobile operators. So it's sort of really a technology without drawbacks uh, that we're very excited about. So, but in addition to this, Mobile operators are uh, facing tremendous challenges in deploying networks in developing countries. And even though we have 7 billion mobile connections today, only half of those are actually human users, uh, leaving 3.5 billion people without the benefits of mobile communication. So, so the challenge is to, to, to have off-grid locations. Uh, these are being powered by diesel generators, something that's dirty, inefficient, and very sort of costly. And by, sort of by using our technology, you, you can actually enable sort of solar power base stations that will really so, so, sort of further enhance these sort of greenhouse reductions. So operators in developing countries can actually spend 50% or more than that on, on powering up the networks. That means that, that when they're looking at sort of deploying new network coverage, they would only do that way they believe it's possible. By reducing the cost of uh, operating the network, we can actually extend coverage area where it was previously not possible and really sort of uh, provide communication to all. So, so the beautiful thing is that by focusing on something that we were passionate about, uh, extending the battery life of the cell phone, we have actually created a technology that will create a greener and cleaner planet. It will save billions of dollars for the mobile operators and help bridge the sort of the digital divide. So uh, the, the question is really how we can use uh, sort of 
uh, efficiency technologies to, re, er, to, to really speed up the deployment of efficient technologies in developing countries uh, 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 in the mobile and the ICT space.